Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be showing you how I did this makeup look, which is a very simple, minimal product, everyday summer makeup look. It's the thing I have been putting on my face when I'm being yelled at to get ready in a hurry, you know? Some people can be very impatient. I've also paired it with a very, I'm not gonna say bold, can I say every day again and say that it's an everyday bold lipstick? I'm also showing you an outfit of the day, which might be a little bit warm, but you know, it's been raining for a week here in Calgary, so I don't like wearing shorts in the rain, so I'm showing you guys an outfit of the day and also how to do this makeup. So if you'd like to see that, then just keep on watching. You know, I was thinking that my hair was looking semi-acceptable, um, you know, before, and now I'm just like, these roots are so bad. So please uh, bear with me. I apologize for this horribleness. Ma Boo Ma Bay, the Physician's Formula Organic Wear BB Cream. I am so happy with how many of you have been using this and loving it. I think it's such an amazing product from the drugstore and though the Physician's Formula products are a little bit more expensive, to me that product is definitely worth it, especially when all of the ingredients in it are natural and you can apply it with your hands. It's so easy. So I just rub it in between my fingers like that. A lot of you have been saying, my mom included, that when you first apply it, it is very thick. And that is true. I definitely spend a lot of time rubbing this in. As you massage it into the skin, it kind of just, I don't know, sinks in. It gets a little bit less thick. Always take it down a little bit onto the neck so you're not turning yourself a different color. And if you go ham like I do, I often do add a bit too much. I'll just go in with my beauty blender and just kind of dab along on top and make sure that I get rid of any of the excess product. I don't necessarily always do this on an everyday basis. It kind of depends on how much sleep I've gotten, but today I have really, really bad under eye dark circles. So I'm going to take my Tarte CC cream and my ring finger and I'll just dab this right on top of where the darkness is. Like you don't wanna go all the way up into the eye wrinkles because that's what causes major creasing. If you just go like right on the bottom where the darkness begins and kind of pat along that, it'll just like cover it itself. You don't have to take the product all the way up to the under eye. I feel like that didn't make sense. I never make sense when I speak, but see right here, the start of the bag is there and I am patting right along the start of the bag and the product will kind of just blend up itself without going too high up and causing like really, really crazy, unnecessary creasing. I've been trying my best to add as little concealer as possible, but for a concealer freak and for someone who gets very common rashes all over my face, that's hard for me to do. So I'm taking my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. I'm gonna add a little bit underneath the eyes just because I do have quite big red patches there, even though they may not show up completely on camera, they do exist. I get a lot of redness around my nose. And just around my mouth area here, I just seem to always have like patches of zits. And even if they're not like full blown zits, they are just these red bumps that I like to cover. Tis my biggest will. And then I'll just take my beauty blender or a brush. It kind of depends on the day. If I'm feeling too lazy to go and get my beauty blender ready, then I will just use a brush. And I just blend in all of the concealer. So lately my skin has been like extra, extra, very dry. So I've been trying not to powder my entire face just to not make it any worse than it is. But because it is the summertime, my nose will get very, very oily. Even though I'm not going outside all that much, I've really just been living in my home like the pale little hermit that I am. But I will take a little bit of powder. This is a sample size of the Makeup Forever HD powder that I've been putting to the test. I'm just gonna put a little bit of that on my nose. And then without adding any more additional product, I'll just lightly sweep that across my under eye because that is the area that tends to move around and crease the most for me. So I do just wanna set that product in and make sure that I am helping it to not move as much as possible. It's bronze time. I have been using the Benefit Hula bronzer because I feel like I was boring you all with the amount that I was using the Urban Decay bronzed, beached, beached bronzed bronzer. Taking the Benefit Hula bronzer and my Elf Stipple brush. I'm going to use this to contour and bronze all in one. So I take the brush, I kind of like tilt it sideways and rub it along the line where I would contour and you're gonna be like, oh my gosh, it's so much product, it looks insane. And it does, but I find that once it's all blended out, which it does blend out very nicely, and once it's all over all the other parts of your face as well, it definitely looks a lot more normal, but I just start with that little contour line and then I blend it all up into the temple area. I do like to add a lot of bronzer, if anything, Bronzer is one of my favorite products to apply. I love to just soak my entire face and body in it. Just apply that all over, make sure to brush it a little bit onto the eyebrows. And then I take a little bit in the center of the nose. I've been trying to not contour my nose as much um, because I feel like it's just looking really weird in photos lately and I'm not digging it, but anywho. A little bit on the bottom of my lip and then also on my jawline. 
then I will add a little bit of highlighter. I mentioned in my June favorites that I have been loving the Jouer Champagne Cream Highlighter. I just dip my ring finger into it and I will just apply it to the tops of my cheekbones. I haven't had a problem with this being applied over top of powder either. For those of you who will be curious, it does blend in really nicely as you can see. I'm not having a problem with applying it kind of on top of where I applied the bronzer. I just rub it there and I'm just going to put a little bit on my cupid's bow and also the inner corners of my eye. Take a little bit on the brow bone, just rubbing it quickly like this. And then I'll kind of just rub the excess on the lids. I also know that I'm going to shock you all with this next one, but I'm not going to fill in my eyebrows. I'm just going to apply some clear brow gel because I've just been letting my brows do its thing. Then I'm going to apply mascara. This is the Tarte Tartist Mascara. Just applying a quick coat of this for a little bit of definition on the eyeballs. So then for lips, I never did find my MAC Oak Lip Liner, so I did just go and pick up another one because I love it so much for an everyday use. And I'll kind of fill it in a bit. This one is a pretty good match for my natural lip color, just a little bit more on the brown side. It's quite a nice like mauve brown lip liner. So then I would just fill in my lips and leave it like that. If you're more of a fan of a glossier lip for an everyday kind of look, then you can just take like a liquid lip balm and apply it to the top of your lip liner and that'll give you like a more long lasting everyday glossy lip. How many times can you say everyday in one video? So overused. Anywho, so you can leave it like this for a more simple look and this look is also something that you can kind of pair any bold lip with if you want. I'm not necessarily going bold bold, but I am going to add this liquid lipstick. It's the new Jouer Orchid liquid lipstick. I think it's such a fun color and you'll see I just really like it with the outfit I'm wearing today. So. I'll just apply that to the center of the lips. Kind of smudge it in a little bit. Getting off like the bulk of the product in the center. And then I will apply it everywhere else after that. I eat an entire like oily grease fest taco feast with this liquid lipstick on and it stayed completely on. No lipstick butthole whatsoever. I was shocked with its lasting power. And then that is the liquid lipstick applied. I think it's just a really nice, fresh, cool pink lipstick. And you got some bronze skin and a little bit going on in the eyes. It's just very simple and I really love this fresh, summery makeup look. Don't forget the MAC Fix Plus. Always the MAC Fix Plus. Unless you spray it in your eye and then that sucks. Ugh. So then for the outfit, I am wearing this Windsor Store drop top. I have a little sticky bra on to hold the non-existent girls in there. This black velvet choker is also from Windsor Store. I have my Daniel Wellington watch. I have an updated code for you guys, a 15% off code. I will link that in the description box down below along with the style that it is. I've also just tucked the front of the shirt into these black jeans that I got from Citizens of Humanity. And then I also got these adorable heels from Windsor Store. They are so comfortable and so affordable. So that is everything for my simple everyday makeup look along with my little OOTD. All the products that I used and all of the outfit information will be listed in the description box down below. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!